Hello everyone, welcome to this video. For this content, I am adapting the quotes from the proceeding paper from 2019 uh, titled Rice Monitoring Using Sentinel-1 Data in Google Earth Engine Platform. This paper helps us, uh, the reader, to understand the usability of Earth Engine Platform for Rice Monitoring. Adapting Earth Engine is easier and much more helpful for faster analysis. So the quotes begin with filtering the image collection for the VV and VH band for the IW mode and for uh, this descending mode. So the filtering has been done for uh, different image properties. Uh, this is somewhat standard or uh, basic method we see everywhere for filtering the collection, uh, filtering this uh, Sentinel one image collection. Then we select VV and VH bands differently. And further, uh, we see the filtering has been done for each of them by dot filter date. And uh, mosaic has been created, uh, created for uh, each and every, uh, each and every dates. Uh, and we might wonder uh, why this is not being done by some function. Uh, just just it could have been avoided uh, the repetition of uh, dot filter date uh, but in closing fiction uh, we can see uh, this is important uh, because the rice plant have uh, different growth stages and for that purpose uh, such uh, gaps has been used and it depends on the rice plant stage on the selection of dates here and this has been repeated multiple times. You can see we have some different dates here. And this is for both the VV and VH. Then after that, um, we have speckle filtering or smoothing. Uh, the thing uh, to note is that most of the uh, pre-processing is already done in Sentinel-1 uh, GRG in Earth Engine. Uh, but speckle filtering is left to the user. Uh, here, the speckle filtering called uh, box, uh, this something called box car kernel uh, is applied. And, and again, this has been done multiple times for both the VV and VH. So there is a long list of this again. Then the authors have created the band stack. And this is done by dot add bands uh, with adding of different variables together. And this has been repeated to the both uh, VV and VH. Then we have the visualization parameters. We have selected the bands, um, the first bands for VV. And similarly, this has been done for uh, VH as well. And gamma has been provided for each and every band. Uh, so, and we also have minimum and uh, maximum values. Um, so, this gamma here is uh, related to the brightness of the image. Uh, it can be useful for, uh, I believe, for cartographic uh, visualization. Again, a little detail suggests uh, gamma can be very important. And here is a variable. BWN, uh, BWN might have been save file, um, but here for this demonstration, uh, just a polygon has been created. And this all has been added as the layer by map.add layer, uh, and two different layer has been added. Uh, and we can also display an individual data then the uh, masking of the pixels uh, has been done and vv uh, the very first uh, vv the of the vv stacked band the very first band uh, if the it if it is less than minus seven and also the vv2 if these two are less than seven uh, then that is the urban uh, that is applied as the urban mask. 
and that has been similarly done for the water as well with selection of and that has to be greater than you know, certain values here uh, the best selection of the values uh, might depend uh, the values are to be decided by the researchers and the bands has been applied sorry the, the masking has been applied by dot update mask uh, and this has been done by dot object mask uh, two times one for the water mask and the other one for all one mask and this has been as this and this has been done for both vv and ph again and for the uh, previously stacked bands the final stacking has been done this is for the vv and vh that were uh, stacked previously and this is the final final stacked band with both vv and vh and again this has been added as the layer then um then the making of line graph begins uh, so there are options or uh, options for the uh, for the line graph we have title uh, original axis uh, vertical axis along with other options uh, and here we have the dates here we have the dates to be appeared on the x axis and uh, this is actually not in the original code um, it's a minor thing and we can copy and just say this was corrected then finally we created the then finally we create the ui by using ui.chart.image.reasons the line graph is created or drawn and this has been done for both the vv and vh bands and when we run this we can see them here and uh, but further to move ahead um, there is a unsupervised classification uh, for this uh, an algorithm called double e k a k means has been applied and this is done by e dot cluster dot w e k a k means and for this uh first uh, the training uh, is required and, the, and that is done by uh, selecting or giving some parameters here and that is the training is done by dot train uh, with this uh, with the variable named here uh, that is required for training and finally we cluster uh, the inputs by dot cluster and we add them as layer and dot random visualizer here creates a random colors for the visualization and uh, the final image of the uh, image uh, that was derived from the classification is uh, exported to the drive so if we run them this whole code so this is here we get the chart like this so Um, not just for the whole codes, uh, the important thing is also about the backscattering coefficients, uh, because we are uh, trying to understand about the rice plants. Um, so the backscattering um, increases until the phenological developments. Uh, there can be certain decrease uh, during the transplantation, um, because there is the presence of uh, stagnant water uh, required for the rice plants and that stagnant water decreases or helps in decreasing of the backscattering 
and tail of hesitation stays. Uh, VV and VH spec scatter increases. This is for the uh, vegetation stays. And there is decrease uh, after the uh, maturity stays. Um, the difference of uh, VH and the VV is that uh, VH has the increasing trend only from the uh, panicle and to the early milking phase. Uh, however, uh, VV uh, shows or in, in VV the trends are shown, seen in as early as uh, in the flowering stage. So that's the different and that can be very much helpful or important for uh, rice plant detection or uh, rice uh, plant monitoring. So this was it. I hope this was helpful. Uh, the link for the article has been shared in the description. Also, the course are shared uh, within the the course are shared um, uh, within the article as well. Uh, and to summarize, uh, this actually is very amusing uh, to be able to observe the growth of rice um, from the graphs. Uh, there are there certainly are different articles uh, with different approaches and different methods, uh, all done in Orthogen. And I'll try to find them. Uh, and if you have uh, come to us and useful articles like this, uh, please share with me. I'll try to understand and explain uh, them as the future contents. Um, so this much uh, in this video. And you can uh, go through the quotes again and um, try to absorb from them. So this much uh, in this video. Uh, any comments are welcomed. Uh, thank you for watching.